Okay guys, you join me here with the all new facelifted Hyundai Santa Cruz, the really own main rival in the United States to the Ford Maverick. And we have some new visual changes outside, but inside there's even more changes and under the hood, we can now tow up to 5,000 pounds with the turbocharged two and a half liter engine. Now up front here, we can see there is a little bit of a new dynamic, more um, vertical styled front fascia with the scroll here. So from the previous Santa Cruz, now we have a little bit more of a boxier looking led daytime running light situation up front here so we have this really cool um daytime running light situation here which is kind of very familiar what we see on the tucson but now it's a little bit more boxy a little bit more vertical for this facelifted model we also have a little more of an aggressive looking lower front fascia area there's also all the way down there there a more aggressive xrt model which is going to help to kind of improve off-road capability on the santa cruz outside here we also have a little bit of a reshaped bumper design for the santa cruz it definitely looks a little bit more pickup truck like i would say than previous before before we had a little bit more of a smoother lines around the exterior of the santa cruz on the sign profile here we do have some new wheel options that we can find as well as this new color option and i've always liked this little um arrow pointing to the santa cruz on here on, on all four wheels that's a fun little point there a little bit of a hyundai easter egg i would have to say and i just came out of the ford maverick driving it for a week and i have to say this thing is definitely feels a little bit bigger it's definitely more expensive and it's definitely going to be a little bit more capable in some areas a little bit less capable in other areas than the maverick and i still wish hyundai would offer a hybrid model of the santa cruz so i think that would be a really hot seller but one of the big new features of the face of the santa cruz is the really really improved interior um, situation here this definitely sets it apart from both the maverick as well as pretty much anything else in this entire class in the u.s market because there really is nothing like this vehicle um we have this new dual digital display you know what let's go hop over to the driver's side so we can get a better look at this right now hopping inside here we can see we have this new digital interior of the face off the santa cruz here and wow this is a huge improvement not only do we have a redesigned steering wheel here we also have these gorgeous new curved displays that are wrapping around the driver of this face off the santa cruz here we also what i believe to be up here is a fingerprint scan button to kind of turn and unlock the vehicle to also set it to different driver profiles i also really like how this screen is kind of seamlessly blended in with one another it's very familiar to like even bmw's new iDrive 8 screen style layout really cool design here we're also rocking a next generation of hyundai's infotainment system which is so much improved versus the older generation i really like what they're doing there we can see a few different interior materials and design choices here i love the little storage area up here on the dash as well as this kind of one strip of line of air vents over here we still have a glove box which is a nice still usable space and i love how hyundai continues to separate their climate controls from the infotainment system right down here in this little haptic touch panel here it's not fully on right now as you can see but these will be a whole bunch of buttons here to kind of change that center console area fantastic charging solutions over here two usb-c ports we have a 12 volt socket as well i believe there's another socket back there to um, kind of give you some more charging solutions we also have a locking sort of center differential to kind of make sure um we're having 50 50 torque split when you do need it auto hold as well as hold ascent control and a few different drive modes to select through over there this new steering wheel design is really interesting it kind of offers this very very like violently thin spoke i don't think i've ever seen a theorem steering wheel this thin spoke before in a production vehicle but it's definitely something unique um we can see this new kind of pattern here that Hyundai's been doing on all their new vehicles to kind of remove the Hyundai badge from the steering wheel. We can see a driver assistance system camera here that's going to be monitoring your eyes um, for some really impressive highway driver assistance features, which this vehicle now offers. We also have a nice little sunroof up here as well as some center console storage if we do need it, which is a nice touch. Two big cup holders as well as a wireless charger and a lot of center console over front storage as well, which is a nice touch. These seats, I have to say, are very comfortable. This um, piece right here, actually, you never really feel it because your back doesn't really touch on it and your headrest will kind of block the piece. It's more of a stylistic choice on here, but I think it's a nice touch. I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe you can get ventilated seats on the Santa Cruz. If you can, that's a great option. Um, it's pretty much unheard of in this segment. I do want to take you on a quick tour of the rear seats before we go look at the rear end of the Santa Cruz. Now, this wood seat is a little bit far back. You definitely can move it forward, but you can see you do have cup holders in the center console here, a cup holder on the side as well. Hopping inside, 
Right now, it's a little bit tight, obviously, because the seat can't, again, can't be moved forward, so you will have more room back here. But as you can see, you have two USB-C ports back here, um, and a lot of headroom and a lot of just general room for passengers back here. I think it feels a little bit more roomy than the Maverick, and I love how they give you the option to open this um, rear kind of bed divider window there. The Maverick does not do that, and that kind of bothers me just a little bit. It's just a very simple thing to do, and I'm not sure why they chose not to do it. Now, coming around to the rear end of the face of the Santa Cruz, not much has actually changed compared to the front end. I believe this taillight design is just vaguely a little bit different than um, the current taillight design. It almost mimics like an arrow pointing in either direction. I feel like this Hyundai actually um, insignia right up here on the lever to open up our rear bed, which I think is actually a really nice touch. We can see some kind of cup holder style shapes integrated onto the rear bed as well, as well as what appears to be some bed accessories on this um, Santa Cruz here. So it looks like we can pull this one out. It looks to be like a, a cover over there that can pull this out as well as this lock and latch slide system over there, which is a really nice touch. We also have some openings over here, which I believe is gonna be some more storage solutions. And I love the different bed integrations over here for some more accessories, as well as the LED lighting on here and these latches, which I said on the Maverick can be used almost as like bottle opener. So I think that's a nice touch there. It looks like we have more storage under here. Check that out. So we can open this almost like an additional trunk. It looks like it's gonna be weather sealed though. I believe what I've seen from other vehicles that we have seen some kind of um, water stuff leak into some of these sealed areas here across manufacturers. So we'll see how good the sealant is on here. I mean, even it says on here, do not apply water directly to latch area could risk and latch failure. So I don't think this is a water safe area, which means I think it might be watertight, which is, is a good thing to know. Um, we don't have a power rear tailgate, but it is a, I believe it's a soft close tailgate. Yes, it is a soft close tailgate. That's a nice touch there on the Santa Cruz. So this is definitely gonna be a more of a luxurious style option. You're gonna get from something from like a Maverick. Even on the higher end Maverick trims, it's not gonna be as nice of the, of the features that you're gonna get on the Santa Cruz. I really like this side bed step as well. You can kind of hop in there if you need to put some stuff in there. And again, we have that little bit of a, a movable window over there to kind of um, have some rear passengers have some fun looking out to the side of it, uh, out of the back of the Santa Cruz. Really nice side profile of the Santa Cruz. And again, I love this new color we have for this new model year. I'm gonna go try to, try to get some B-roll of that other one over there. It's really mobbed by a whole bunch of journalists right now and it's been the whole day of the new color as well. But I think this one's a pretty nice touch. And if you are looking at the Santa Cruz, I would probably wait for this one because I think the updates are worth um, the wait.